Let's see. So. So. Piggy, aka Turbo. All this waiting. Was knocked unconscious. Did he lose buffs? I don't know if he lost buffs or not. Apparently we did. Okay, so we are going that way to the north. Blindness is so much fun. Baphomet's Forerunner? What? Level 26. I'm going to guess this is probably the mini boss, or the boss for the area. So does he mean to poison, channel negative energy harm, spell immunity? Domination nauseated, dominate monster. So I bet he can sleep. I bet his saving throw is ridiculous, but we okay, Fenning. Let's uh, see if we can reduce his saving throws. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Toyota Forerunner. That's what I thought it was going to say. That's what I came to mind, at least. So he made that saving throw of... Modifier is 28. Against a DC 24, so... Got to roll with 6 or better. Against that, one, at least. And... Uh, Ranger's Bond, because Demon. Will bonus was 28, wasn't it? It was 28. But the say the hex was a DC 24, so it's got a chance of uh, getting landing stuff. Oh, wait a minute, my math sucks. He always makes a save if he rolls a one. For some reason, I think they always have to roll a 10. It's Every roll is just a 10. You have to roll a 10 or better, and you do your, your 28 and 24 stuff and figure out that is, but it's not, it's not how it works. That's the way I want it to work, but it doesn't. So, it would be fair. I, I would think it would be better if it was. It's just the saving throw is either, you know, 10 or above. If 10 or above and you make your save, 9 or below, you, you don't. That's 50-50, right? Or would it be 1 to 10 and then 11 to 20? Yeah, 1 to 10 is a fail. 11 to 20 is success. And then you have your DCs and all this other fun stuff playing with each other that way. I think that would be a fairer system. But they're not going to do that. They don't listen. Um, guns on. Nope, guns Kill off. Kill them with all the gun guns on. Nope, guns off. Kill them with all the guns. Guns off. <sighs> Shit. Veronica. <laughs> so Ring just put shield on herself. Totally okay. No problem. Ah, bad timing there, Veronica. Just saying. Oh, we can do smites. Uh, smite the evil. Treat that too for fun. Did we bubble up pig? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Fluffy, kill that. Fluffy, you're supposed to kill that. Let's hear you cry. Sneaky deck. So no problem, easy win? Oh yeah, no problem. Skybird's on our size. We're, we're, we're okay. Skybird's here. Did 
Matthew, that was an even. That was 24 and 24. Uh, how does that work? Still has to be a one, doesn't it? We're finding bath mat. Yes, bath mat. Bath mats for runner. And total misclick. Total misclick. This is gonna go well. So smart. That was so so stupid of me to do. Almost killed him. That's very bad. Okay, we're just gonna go a little crazy here. Wow, 22 hit points. That was... Oh, at least he's not going after the spirit bird. That's the plus thing. Plus side of things. Okay, Fluffy. We're not. Good trip. Nice trip. Wow. That went really, really well. Some that went really well there. There's no hot tub. That's a myth. It's much too uh, late in this year, early in the season for that kind of talk. Sure, why he only got one throw? Why would he only get one throw there? He wasn't on the ground. What the hell? Die, die, die. I'll just have to resort to brute force. We just have to kill that thing. Or not. Yeah, despite uh, stupid misclicks, still not too bad. I'll look through parts. Natural armor plus four. Amulet jousting. More than that. And so it, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Scared because he got hit so hard. Yes, that's it. Skyward, dreamt that you that I dead and had gone to hell. I suddenly found myself in the stage of a massive theater. So millions, I said, I shouldn't be here. The only thing I've ever done is tell you bad puns. Suddenly the devil appears and says, look closer. I looked around the place and saw that there were no exit doors and that the audience was chained to the seats. I said... Uh, do you mean, the devil replied, yes, it isn't your punishment, it's theirs. Is that a joke? Doesn't sound like a joke. Is that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> yeah, 
It's a punishment of puns. I shall not fail. Punishment of puns. And the healing process. It isn't too bad. Got a nice hammer for Void Lock and a hand band of mental perfection plus four. Yeah, I didn't really pay attention to what got looted. I was reading chat instead. You know, priorities. That was the only damage. Okay. So, stuff. Mental perfection four, so intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Ring has. Oh, I thought Ring had better than that. Got the channel of energy thing. So Ring's going to benefit the most from that, right? He has broken trickster. Oh, sorry. He does that better at six. Okay, so. Um, Fanny? Fanny it is. Matches her hair better. And incredible dexterity four. Incredible dexterity two. Now this should increase his to hit, right? Yes, I'll we'll give it to him. Ring of protection too. Everybody has at least those are better. I have better spells on them anyway. A ring of luck. Who would like the ring of luck? Someone else should use it. Oops. You need oh, here to get he has up one. and step Oops. away from the computer. That was really bad. Fanny. Fanny needs a ring of luck. I'm just throwing stuff out here. Full plate plus three. So 12, 13 max. You're currently at 12 max. He's at 10. Actually, at that. Yeah, it's 10. So we'll give him this one. Because that'll give him up to 13. 38 AC. Not too bad. Okay, the hammer. Face Smasher. It's plus three, Fury Born. This uh, plus fur three, Fury Born Keen Warhammer has a double critical threat threat range. Whenever it threatens a critical hit against a medium sized creature, it is automatically confirmed. Whenever it lands a hit, the target must make a successful fortitude save, DC 35, or become staggered for one round. That's fairly vicious. That is kind of an upgrade. We should make him dual wielding these things, huh? Dual wielding warhammers. Glaive three. No, you don't have. Just in case when your pig, you know, gets knocked unconscious. But yeah, that's that's a pretty vicious warhammer. Okay, so oh look, the exit's right there. So he was the boss. Let we go. I think we all have Shield of Faith that doesn't... Right, yeah, the Shield of Faith is better than the ring. I th well, for the most part, I think it is. At this point, I think it's higher. I think Shield of Faith is three at this point. Oh, it's actually four, so... Better than any rooms. Oh, look, we leveled up. Looks like Ring's gonna be a bard. 
<sighs> okay, so, zombie, you're awake. Gendarm. Yeah, no, that, well, it says it was the, the last island in the excursion, so the XP was a little bit better. Well, that was a good level. Turbo, you're just going to get skill stuff. Fanny. Which? Oh, look, another hex. Uh, let's see. Uh, or purity. I don't want to need that. Beast skiff. Grant our allies ferocious animal abilities, which can partially transform a willing ally, granting unnatural attacks for a number of minutes equal to the witch's level. Choose one. The creature gains a one bite attack that deals that or gains two claw attacks. Hmm. Delicious fright. Like I said, become shaken for a number of rounds equal to three, plus their intelligence modifier. As long as the witch remains within 30 feet of the target. Gains plus one morale bonus attack rolls and plus one morale blah blah blah. Successful will save reduces the duration to one round. So this is an automatic shaken. We can use we can use this with stuff. <laughs> did we see this last time? I don't remember. I think we did. Needs to stack natural attacks so you could give animal companions an extra bite with it no longer set. Oh, that's wrong. Or is it right? Touches fast healing five or a number of rounds equal to half the witch's class level or heals up to four ability points of damage per two ability from two ability scores. That's a good one, too. Low intent bit, is it? Your bonus is up to two, because we gave you, we just gave you a hat to get your intelligence up. So you've got a two plus two. That's not that bad. It's not great, but it's at least two. And in all honesty, it just has to last long enough. To get that uh, other that spell of yours onto it, because that'll fear them. Because if they're already shaken, you apply that spell and they get feared, right? Or if uh, a void lock hits them with and it gets a corner against smash off, I think that might fear them too. Yeah, five rounds is actually pretty good. Most fights aren't lasting five rounds, so okay. Delicious right it is. Oh, look, a level 7 spell that you don't have. You like fire. And I see no fire spells. Yeah, extra heals are never bad. Yeah, there's no fire at this level for you. Oh, that's right, you can have a level 6 and a level 7 heal. Uh oh, is ice body here? You need cold vulnerable fire blah, blah, blah. damage reduction five magic, you're immune to ability score damage, blindness, critical hits, disease Yeah, this is actually a really good spell. Yeah, not like we get blinded. This wouldn't be helpful at all. Heal is fine, but this one stops you from being blinded. Oh, sorry, we do have heal. Well, legendary proportions, you need dinosaur bones for that. Oh, we have eight of them. And who are we going to use that on? On a horse and a rider? We need to get CC or we recover from the problem. Oh, we have crowd control. 
animals. Just the animals. But heal can be used on allies. It can be. And we have heal. I keep forgetting that uh, we do have heal from... Or for our... Uh, Skybird has heal. No, he doesn't have a... She doesn't. We have heal through Skybird. Yeah. More summons? No. I don't know. I'll have, I'll have, which one do you want, Fanning? It's up to... I mean, it's your character. So ice body, heal, whatever. It, it's up to you. What do I think? Heal is not critical because we have it through Skybird. Ice body is good because it keeps you up and fighting more often and simply because, you know, you get damage reduction a little bit and it makes you immune to a bunch of shit. So, yeah, Ice body is one of the best spells as a for a defensive reasons. Cuz it it just again the immunities. I mean, no ability to score damage, no blindness, no critical hits, no disease, drowning, electricity, poison, stunning, and all spells or attacks that affect you physi physiology or respiration. Because you have no physiology or respiration to effect. So this is just a great, this is just a great spell. The only downside is only one minute per level. And I don't think you have the 24-hour the stuff, do you? We don't have loads of these spells, no. No, we don't. But again, it'll still last, last a minimum of 14 minutes. But do you have... We were working on extended for you? No, we don't. Just abundant casting. Oh well. Anyway, we'll just have to remember to use it before our boss fights and stuff. Okay, ring is gone, so we'll go straight to Skybird. Skybird the Oracle, nothing to pick this level looks like. Except probably spell. Ah, level 7 spell for him. No level spells yet. No level 7 spells yet. So for this. Serious one's mass for combat. Restoration naming. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forget. What does he actually get? He already gets greater restoration. Mass heal. Verification. So, so restoration greater. He doesn't get that to 13. Oh, this is this type of spell. Never mind. Or level of the spell. So it's good. And something for nature, too. Uh, which we... the champion. Go away. Yeah, I know we have nature. I just don't know what the spells are. Because, you know, you can't see it from his character sheet. Right? Can't see it from here. Oh, and can you see the mythic abilities? Yes, you can. So, seven creeping doom. So nothing that was on his list. So that's going to be nice to have, though. Creeping doom.
So he gets restoration greater, and we can do Kirsius once mass. But that's not. 3d8 plus one point per cast to level, maximum 35. Well, clarity. Negates concealment less than total concealment within the area. Perception checks to be scared. Maybe? Yeah, I know. We get the heal mass the next level in the first grand. But lower level version. But heal is better. By a long shot. Um, I don't know. Potion? Disease, immunity to fear, and that's charisma about to stop saving throws. This spell it's no effect if it's cast on a paladin. Destruction for fun. Use it for heal. Yeah, it's this this isn't a good selection for a healer. Or even a buffer. I mean, there's no there's no real buffs here, and the healing is you're going to be picking this stuff up anyway through your choices, so I don't know. Destruction it is, because there's really nothing to choose from. Oops. Luffy. Ring's not here. We know we're an Arcane Trickster. We could just not do this until next week for him. Yeah, we'll hold off. I don't want to screw his character over because I don't know what he wants. Ring's lucky I like him. Void, are you here, Void? Would you too like to be a part? No, we're discovered. Ring is not here. Ring went to bed. Nope. Oh, Look, you get shining light. All creatures within 30 foot burst centered on a caster. Void light can unleash a 30 foot burst of pure white light as a standard action. Evil creatures within this burst take 1d6 for every two paladin levels. So that would be 7. Points of damage and are blinded for one round. Evil dragons, evil outsiders, and evil undead are blinded for one to four rounds on a failed save. You flick save, halves this damage, stuff, stuff, stuff. Uh, good creatures within the burst are healed 1d6 points of damage per two caster level, two paladin levels, and receive plus two sacred bonus on ability checks, stack rolls, and saving throws, and skill checks for one round. Where the Holy Light can use this ability once per day at 14th level. Plus one additional time per day at 17th and 20th. So, shiny light. I'm up for an adventure. It's, it's nowhere to put it. Mark of justice. I guess we don't need to see the power attack. No. Actually, we don't need to see the point. Points. Oh, that's right. He picked up point blank. <laughs> the point blank feet for free. Forgot about that. Ah, too funny. No, I don't think he needed it on this bar. But it's funny to be there.
it was a random feat we got off of one of the islands we did one of the reward was a random feat for everybody in the party so everybody got a different one not so useful for everybody my mother's calling early way early she's not supposed to be calling now Anyway, Shall we move? so ring we'll do move? next week. Nightmare, you're just gonna get skills. And Despairador. What do you do with Despairador? Demon Slayer, of course. Combat style feat. Mm, what do you do with that? Weapon combat, dodge, double slides, fortitude, iron will, like reflexes, shield blast, and toughness. That quick horse? Well, there's nothing to do, it's just skills. Dodge, double slice. And your strength bonus and damage rolls made for your offhand weapon. You normally add only half your strength modifier. So, yes. But the damage is already the same, isn't it? Strength four. Yeah. Strength is four. Isn't it the same? Yeah, it's already, it's already there. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not a which is odd, but did it say melee? I didn't even pay attention. Your offhand weapon while dual wielding blah. At your strength bonus damage rolls with your offhand weapon. Normally only a hatch to modify the damage roll. It doesn't say offhand. It doesn't say, oh, it says search tags damage and melee, but it doesn't say melee. It just says dual wielding and offhand. Throwing weapons get full strength, doesn't matter if it's offhand or not. So, not a lot of choices here. Uh, skill focus, that doesn't do anything. Um, iron will, get better saving throws for will, or reflex saving throws, or toughness is more hit points, great fortitude, fortitude save. Apparently thrown weapons are getting full ability bonus when dual wield. That's probably the bug. Possibly, but not something to worry about at the moment. Fortitude? Okay. Fortitude. Okay, so that's that. You get your spells finally. You get a level 4 spell finally. Animal growth doesn't do anything for you. Aspect of the wolf. You become more rugged. So bonus of strength and dexterity. But, uh, you only have the belt. I think for dexterity it's plus 2. So that would actually help you. Plus in the salamander. Uh, able to regenerate damage each round. One round per level, so that's 11. Fast healing, 5, so that'd be 55 hit points. Get fire resistance, bonus combat man. That. Inspire and recovery. Can heal a creature, harm an undead creature, or call upon a very uh, recently dead, dead, dead creature. Thirsting entanglement. 
that the plants latch onto the targets and drain away their vitality. So they drain constitution. I'm going to go with Aspect of the Wolf. It spells. You just turn into a giant disco ball. Yeah, but you're a crappy disco ball. That's the funny part. <laughs> you 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 don't last very long as a as a disco ball is the problem. Okay, so we are back at Lucianero. Well, disco balls are supposed to go all night long, and you can't go all night long. Here's this little visual bug. I can't even click on the exit until we do something like this, I think. Nope. How did I do that? There you judge your short durations of shining like a disco ball. You're not made of batteries. And that's your problem. You should be made of batteries. You should at least have a solar panel on your forehead. Sell stuff. shield it's plus one so we should actually give him that one remind me to give him that shield so we're about wow 131,000 how that happened Basically, all the stuff we just sold. That. We should just take our 130,000 and go retire in Macau. That's the smart thing to do. That's the very smart thing to do. So, but in all seriousness, what do we need? You got your little channel negative energy thing, that's no big deal. She's got the plus four mental perfection, so she's good on the headpiece. Giant strength two. My, how did she end up with this? <laughs> we don't know how she ended up with that, but. Well, it makes sense on you, but not on her. That's constitution. Again, that's just because. Dexterity. Strength, that works for him. And dexterity four. Oh, that's right, dexterity four for him. So, oh, so actually, aspect of the wolf isn't going to really eh, boost his strength. So. What do we actually want to do? I have no idea. Unique equipment. Anything good. About the physical perfection, six. It's 144,000, though. That's almost all our money. Corrupt and 
keep creating or keep creating. Keep creating. Come on, short bow, no. Graces of breaching. Safe throw become vulnerable to piercing damage. No. Plus four belts if we can afford it. Yeah, I'm not disagreeing there. Oh, look at that fluffy boots. There's nothing there. So belts. So we need a couple of strength. So we need strength for zombie. The animals, too, I guess, technically, but we'll get people first. Spirit already has a plus four dexterity. The Fenny doesn't really need a bell, Voy or uh, Skybird doesn't really either. Ring could use dexterity, right? So there's that. Okay, and all the animals get strength, right? And this we're going to get dexterity for the horse. Void, what would you like? Did your, do you want your horse to be more dodgy or bite harder? Being the off tank and everything. Piggy strength, horse strength, or con. Horse should wear heavy barding. Oh, that's right. So, constitution for the horse then. You say oops quite often. Do you need assistance? No, I'm good. Yeah, the, the heavy barding's gonna say, screw your dexterity. Okay, so, belt, zombie, void, piggy, fluffy, dexterity is ring, and constitution is nightmare. Gets all the AC, well, the thing is, is the barding eats up your dexterity bonuses, so belt is better constitution. Horse needs to take heavy barding for next level. Yes. Okay, I think this will work. Now watch, we have all those belts already. Fluffy didn't even have a strength belt. Constitution, watch for him about that. Ring. Dex 32, so we made the right call there. Should have checked, but that's okay. Void. Strength 4. We have him as strength, but Constitution for many more hit points. 30 more. Now we can sell the belts. So there's twos and double check on the spirit or so get the four dexterity, so we're good. We got a belt, we got a belt, we got a belt. So everybody's got a belt. Oh, that's right, Skybird had the other constitution bow. We had two of those. And then Fanning, strength two. How about we'll give you dexterity two? You can shoot a little bit better. Not by much, but a little bit. Okay.
guess we don't need potions anymore, do we? Actually, this worked out pretty well in timing. Move out. All this waiting bores me. It does. Does anyone require my counsel? Oh look, how to end up here. Here's a question. When you enlarge the horse, can you still mount it? Yes. If so, I want to see how funny that looks. Oh, you'll basically be doing the splits. Speaking of, we need diamond dust. Regular equipment. Diamond dust here. At least on this one. This the wrong stuff? Yeah, amber and that kind of fun stuff. This is the wrong portion. And we don't need that much diamond dust because it lasts 24 hours each, so. Let's move your race about you. I've got no wits. Potions and scrolls. Let's see if this helps. Hello everyone. Unfortunately it is time to end the stream. Gimpy needs to eat dinner and spend some quality time with Mrs. Gimpy and the dogs. Have a great day or evening. We will see you tomorrow. Also, make sure to click the follow button and visit Gimpy's YouTube channel. Twenty should be more than enough. It's only a thousand. And we need dinosaur bones too. These are a little bit more expensive. But we don't have legendary proportions yet either. Oops. Please stop saying oops. You are making me look bad. You're making me look bad at this point. You can live with this. Yeah, I know we didn't, but at least if we do later on, we have it. Yeah, it's on It's on the possibilities, so might as well just grab this stuff over here. Because, you know, we're going to level up again. So. Okay, I think that's it for now. If you can think, anything, think of anything before, or by next week and stuff, before we go on our next little expedition, remember to say it's something next week. Because i got to get going. So. And we'll get the ring leveled up uh, when we start next week, too. Okay, so again, if you're here specifically for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, we do this every Sunday uh, about this time of day. Well, this is the end of the stream, but normally four hours earlier is when we start for this kind of stuff. Also, on Sundays, we do Dominion 6 for the first half of the stream, which starts uh, eight hours ago. <laughs> That's how that works. Anyway, speaking of schedule. Tomorrow, Monday, is uh, Master of Magic, continuing on with the Scourger uh, playthrough with the Scourge of the Seas DLC. It came out uh, about two weeks ago now. Uh, Tuesday, we're back to World of Warcraft Classic. We'll be playing uh, my Tauren Shaman. Wednesday is Star Sector. Thursday, still up in the air at the moment. Friday, though, is Multiplayer Baldur's Gate 3 with Jeff Hobo and Hurricane. Saturday, World of Warcraft Classic with the main Horde characters, which for me is a Tauren Druid. And the next Sunday, as we were just saying, first half of the stream is Dominion 6, with uh, currently is a Mind Flayer faction that we're doing, so having fun with that. And the second half of the stream is this, Pathfinder of Wrath of the Righteous, with viewer groups currently viewer group 12 in the Treasure of the Midnight Isles. Ta-da. Okay, that's it. Gotta go. Tomorrow's stream starts at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT, for some more Master of Magic. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a great evening, great day, wherever you happen to be. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you tomorrow.